Hey people, I found this yesterday. I couldn't get a movie up. I was birthday partying yesterday with some of my favorite people. And I did make all these kids give up their devices when the food come. So about 3,400 years ago, over here in the Babylonian, you know that would break down the in the confusion on days is what that would mean in this spelling. And uh, nobody had ever told them that the earth was flat. And so they just assumed it was round like everything else when they divided it up. And you see it's the same as the Greek, you know, there was, this is our, our North Pole here. And, uh, you know, you had Enlil, the god of the earth, and Ea, you know, the god of the, the waters. And then Anu, you know, had the equator. And, um, you know, it's the same as Greece, you know, you had the god of the heavens and the god of hell. You know, the upper world and the underworld. And then you had a god of the, the Milky Way. And they had a superior math. And they knew if they had divided that equator at 17 degrees, that the sun would give equal months in each territory. So, you know, you had three months in the summer. And then you had three months coming back across the equator. And you had three months in the south. And you had three more months, you know, back coming up across again. You know, begin you back here again. And so these writings, you know, were the same as the Bible. It told where the sun was at Easter to figure out the time. And, and the astrophysicists computed the dates of the helical risings and settings and figured this out to be around 1370 B.C. Which isn't necessarily correct. That just, that just means, you know, 3,400 years ago. And they probably uh, twisted the the time somewhere in there trying to hide something or you know it could have been an, another revolution before that you know another 26,000 years before that you know the, the stars would have been doing the same thing but what this is is uh it'll talk about a group of stars and then it, it'll give positions and uh and this is they call this mool these three stars and that's what it means is it, this doesn't rest necessarily mean mool, but a, a mool was a position of a three star. They had, uh, you know, I tell you when when we get a ping on a ship, we we shoot three different directions and get a straight line. It gives you a little small triangle, and your position, your ping, you know, is in between the, that little triangle. Would give you a, a pretty good idea where you're at. And so this is a pin, a ping. And so, you know, I, I interpret that a pin in Hebrew as a position. They'll say it means face. And so, you know, from connect, M from connect of a place is about what it's doing with the mool pin. is connecting from a place. And this is a, a place in the sky, you know, from a place in the heavens. And you see this, uh, you know, it's represented by three stars. This is an on. You know, and that was the old world for, uh, you know, above, the guys, the gods above were the on. And you shoot three of them, three ons, to get a position, a ping. And you see that's what this symbol, you know, it looks like a, a ancient uh, a variable resistor here. You know, like your volume switch on an old radio. You know, so this is the old Sumerians, and this is where they say that the Hebrews came from before they went to Egypt. And when I break this Babylonian, you know, I, I broke it down with what they accuse of the Hebrew. You know, they say the bull is confusion, ba in the confusion. But um, yeah, that's that seems to be only confusion if you didn't understand how to read it. You know, BBL the way it's written in the Hebrew, you know, is is in house of, and then a, a oni, and you know, that's what you would call somebody from that place. You know, and then on is the light the light from in the house of the light from and so they had a whole bunch of constellations you know they're just three stars you know because you you can get a direction from three stars you know two stars you recognize two stars that's just a line the third one will give you a better direction and they say this uh a pin you know was the plow the mool represents um a constellation 
and up in is the plow and the plow is the first tool that God gave the man you see it in all the ancient stories and art you see it in their ancient art you know coming from a cylinder seal when God was giving man the first plow you know you got the sun the moon and the stars and uh, you know a horse looks like a horse drawn the plow here and so it kind of more means you know to the position of the plow of the heavens and this was identified with the stars of the modern constellations of Cassiopeia, Andromina, and Triangulum. And so they would select, you know, the three brightest stars in a triangle there and use that to find directions and time. And in this list, you know, they inventoried all the, the stars and the, the planet risings and all the, the shacks of the moon and the houses of the sun. And they logged all this as if they were sitting on a spinning round planet. And so Mool Mool, you know, that would be over there, Pallades, Taurus. And that was associated with Anu, you know, because it was right on the equator. It was Easter at that time. And the same in the Indian astrology, you know, that would be the Krata. And the same in the book of Job, you know, that was the Krata. And then Gu, you know, G is the foot. And the on is the stars. And that was Taurus, you know. And it would be a, a beginning, you know, at the foot, at the bottom. And then Enlil, you know, uh, the old man. And that was up above the equator. That was up at the top. And they had Gemini called the, the twins, the great twins. And you had the twins above and the twins under. And they had Cancer. And Cancer would be Alu. You know, that was the first Sumerian god that came from the heavens to earth. So that would have been at a time before. You know, the sun was in Cancer at Easter before Gemini. You know, Gemini, the time of Adam, Adam and Eve, the lovers. You know, and then Taurus, you know, the time of Noah. And Taurus sits up here. You know, he sits, he sits right here by the Milky Way. It's uh, the Milky Way, you know, is the flood that come. And then Noah come out of the boat is Taurus. And um, they saw the, the plow, the furrow, as, the, as Virgo, you know, the ear of grain. And this would be the bra. This would be the bra of Virgo she stripped off. And it, at one time, this was the claws of Scorpio. And it was added in later about this time. And it's because this area of space is expanding. And they had Sagittarius, you know, on the southern side, Ea. And um, this is the closest point to out of our universe. You know, if the Earth was going to travel out of our universe, this is the direction it would travel. And they had old Capricorn, the goat fish. And so all our modern astrology came from here. You know, they had Ea, Enki, the god of the water, the underworld. You know, Enki, that's the word for I am in the Hebrew. And so that would mean, you know, that Enki wrote the book, I am. And that was, you know, the creator of human earth. And then they had Ares, you know, the hired man. And so in the Greek, that would be write, written as paid. And then uh, in the Hebrew, it would be a bed, and they'll say it means slave. But yeah, a hired man is paid. So that would be the writings, you know, after the time of Taurus came the time of Ares. And that would be the time that the Hebrews were enslaved in Egypt. And you know, the, the hired man, he was, he was loving Easter. You know, he was moving his... At, at that time, you know, the Easter back in Taurus was moving its way toward Ares. Or Ares was moving his way toward Easter. He was loving on Easter. And so that Hebrew word for the Ovid, you know, it's it's a word for sheep and it uh, it's where uh, that movie on the bottom tooth, you know, it's where that word comes from, from disease where your bottom jaw is way bigger than the top. And it's because, you know, baby sheep, you know, they, they only have bottom teeth so they don't bite the nipple off. And so you say, you know, what the hell's this got to do with anything? And like I say, from connect of a place 
so this you know connect of a place is a place of the stars and that means a time from connected time is what these writings are all about in the house of on of the of the light to make on in the house where the sun's at so this mool it uh it only comes up a couple different ways and here's the the mool dtu the date to from connect of the date to you know whom mool from connect of the date given and then you see it come up here in genesis 17 it comes up uh five times right here in these couple lines you know the mool and here at 13 you can see it's the mool mool the mooly mool and in time they double up a word like that they'll say the first one's very but we had just saw that moo moo was the Pallades here. You know, that beginning point on the shoulder of, of Taurus. And so the Pallades are very mooly. And so if mool is from to connect of, mooly mool would be a very good place from to connect of. And uh, yeah, Pallades are very recognizable. If it's only set of little stars, you can see everybody knows what that is. But we can see here it's got a, a lot more punctuation to go with it. And so they'll say it means must be circumcised. The, the mooly mool. And that's where your word moil comes from. You know, moil is the one who performs the circumcision. But with this line here, it actually means, you know, this reads EM to them. EM here, them. And then UL. And then back the other ways, L-U-M, them alone, they mool, them alone, they light of the, of the constellations. Then when it comes up in Exodus, you know, it's to, to give the, the time wheel, T-M-U-L, you know, you move that T in front and it explains better what that is. You know, to give the time will of the solus, S-L-S-S, -S -S, the solus, the time will solus in Exodus. You know, the time will, the time connected of the solus. You know, the same thing again, to give the time connected of the solus. And then in 18, you know, it's, it's los of those mool of the allies. You know, I tell you, the allies are the stars, your friends in the heaven that tell you the time and place, the allies, of Lowe's Mool of the allies. You know, you have a, a star, then you have all the connected allies that help you figure out exactly what that star is. And then in Exodus 26, you know, it comes up as the Mool pin, the Mool pin from connected of the position of the easel. You know, the AE turns into the ES, and so the easel, you know, is where you set your your work up you know to paint the sky the easel is where the artist puts his work and and from the mool pen from the astrology of the easel you know from the hand of god what he's painting the sky and then every time it comes up you know it's either the mool pen or the mool bin you know the the mool of the place and the mool of the time is the bin and it's where you were to uh, the mammal come from because uh they were all the animals in the heaven you know where the where the moon was the moon runs across the 12 mammals and so most of the time it comes up after this you know it's the mool pin you see it here exodus 34 you know the owl the owl the gods of heaven from from will here you know they'll say this is a mountain but it's the ear is what it is, you know. And the ear of Eve, of the Eve. And they'll call this the mountain because when it's read backwards and forwards, you know, it's to re, to rehear. And that's an echo, you know. And at the foot of the mountain, you know, you holler and you hear an echo. And all, and a loom will hear the Eve. You know, the Eve is the connection. You know, and every time it comes up, you know, that's what it's looking like. All mool pin. Mill math. M-T-H. Math. From of math, the mammal pl pin, the place to, the pin to, pinu. And then Leviticus 8, you know, it's the mool pin at, A-T, 
at 6, Xi X. Mu'ul pin at 6. And Leviticus 12 starts up here, you know, to, to make Mu'ul, to make from the connection of Bashur, ensure oral to the, the words of. And they'll say this oral to is your foreskin. And that's just some homosexual shit that the, the priests used to always suck the blood when they would cut the foreskin. And you see here, uh, Leviticus 18, you know, the, the mool from will DT, from will date. And then instead of pin, it's bit, you know, in, they say that's the house. From will date in it, B I T in it, of the mool date. And this one here, you know, the, the mool date, a bick, you know, Hiram a bick. And so, uh, Hire my bick, you know, that's sounds like the hired man. It's probably what that is there. You know, they'll say a bick is father. And numbers, you know, it goes back to the mool pin, the mool pin. And then in numbers 26, you see the la mool. You know, and that's, you know, L H of divide mool from speech, S P H T, S P C H, speech, the spit, you know, the language from speech each e c h to each muli mula money and then at the beginning of deuteronomy you see it come up you know the mul soup and so that's that's followed by a bin you know in that period of time so soup is definitely a name of one of their constellations and so when this word comes up you know it's mul bin or mul pin from the time or from the place and you see the last time it comes up in the Torah, the last the last chapter of the Torah in Deuteronomy, you know, is mul, bite, power. You know, mul, the, the sign in the house, invite, bite, in the house of power, P-O-W-R. So I had a preacher tell me about four months ago, there's no astrology in the Bible, and the entire book is about astrology. That's all it's about. You know, every time it says the Cassil in the Bible, they'll just say it means fool. But it's understood to be Orion. So when it says the fool in your, in your King James Version, it's talking about Orion. And this Mizram, you know, with the X in place of the Z is what they give Egypt, the miseries. You know, finally M is an S. And that's that star that sits on the left paw of canny so you really can't believe anything you see here because you know they're they're trying to hide what's in the ancient hebrew writings and it's numbers eight three you know where it comes up al a l the heavens the god a lot of times they'll say this they give this no meaning this time but as word 410 the same word they'll say it means god Sometimes they'll say it means no, and sometimes it just means things they'll say. But these things are the knowledge of all, the knowledge of and mul pin from the, from the connection of the place. And so they'll always say that this um, pin is face, and so they had to change it. This is the hole, they always say this means to come up, you know, so if you're in a hole, there's only one direction, you know, it's up. So they'll say hold is to come up. And they always say this pin, you know, is the face, the faces. And so they had to totally twist it to make this all fit. And so the menorah, the menorah is an ancient Sumerian constellation. We'll place the menorah. And from we'll place the menorah, the whole of north, the north. And so most of the time they'll say mul means, you know, in front of. And so you see that a lot in the Bible, you know, in in front of his face. It just didn't fit here. And this is that last time it come up in the Torah, you know, the last the last paragraph of Deuteronomy, you know, assure the hand of uh, I do. The hand of you the Places, P N I S, the places, all the God, the knowledge of, and then backwards from in places, you the places, the knowledge of from in places, 
and everybody knew that this word power was in this last paragraph so they forced it here on this hide to hide they forced the power on there you know EY you know to, to they hand but where this mool pin comes up this last time you know they had to change it to opposite here you know whatever else they give it it didn't fit and the the mool the sign in it you know in it in the house in it power the Beth power but you see all the meanings they had to give this mool it just didn't fit you know the before representative before against you know for and against are opposites and so they also give it the meaning opposite too you know or just it against front and opposite over against opposite and so I'm sure all these interpretations are coming from other words surrounding it you know in Gaia in the earth from will in it power Deuteronomy 3:29, in Gaia in the earth from will in it power and you know a Gilgil that's the ancient word for a circle the mool of the, the Gilgil the mool circles and signs of the circle and you know this Moab you know that I read this as the the move M-U-A-V the move from the sign in it power Deuteronomy 34 6 you know as the procession of equinox goes on you know, they move from the mool, from the sign in it, power. And then it comes on in later books, you know, in Joshua, all, you know, the God, from its sign, here, E-R, to hear grazes, you know, just touches by it, grazes, just eating the grass off the top. And the, and the God, from the sign here, of oval, O I V L oval, you know, an egg shape. So they'll have to twist this up again, you know, over against before, over the frontier, you know, opposite or toward. And so it's never made easy, and you see that right here in this word battle, you know, is them alchemy. Alchemy is is using your brain, alchemy in all in the God from will place them alchemy not a battle and not a war but the use of your mind and alchemy comes from you know the them of divide from life divide from life from you got to do some math when you're doing the alchemy you see here how they change of of ping of the place to before now instead of the face where the mool was before you know, in a plane is in the orb, you know, an orbit goes around in that plane. All the planets follow a plane of the ecliptic, you know, all the planets will follow the ecliptic in that plane, in that orb, from will soup, you know, be in near, you know, backwards and forwards, near the porn, you know, the porn is all those disgusting pictures that were removed those were porn it means hidden pictures the porn of in and so that porn you know is the pay is the face are the face are run and in orb them will in soup you know is the secrets connected face the secret of uf up the secret of be in and then backwards the near near a face run and so that was porn because they was mixing up the humans and animals and that was just pornography the porn event and this book of numbers you know starts with the census of Israel's warriors you know whatever you Helms, you know, H A L M S, the helms, the steering, the big wheel in the sky, whatever you helms, have them dibber. You know, this is the same word they'll say as numbers for the book of numbers. This is this is the word from dibber, and it's also they'll say it means word, you know, anything with a dibber in it. 
and, and have them um, diverse sign. And the helms have them um, diversion, diversing, DV, D-V-E-R-S-I-N-I. And I-N-I is like ing, sing, diversing, diversing to, you know, showing a great deal of variety, very different. And this is a word that originated in English and comes from nowhere else. And when they say English, they actually mean Hebrew. And so as times went on, the words coming from the number, you know, that's why a lot of these words are hard to read, because they're not even words, they're numbers. And from the numbers, diversing, changing. You know, you see the same base word, you know, the dib, or, you know, meaning to speak. You know, yabba dabba do. And so as the times change, you know, you have to change it all. And you see the tat here, you know, this actually reads the Alu, A-L-U. You know, that was the first god of the Sumerians to get to Earth, the Alu, which was also Cancer. And so this would give us an idea of where this menorah was, you know, Alu, Mul, from the Alu constellation, place, the ping of the menorah. And it shall give a light, you know, to Yod, to make air, A-I-R, to make air to to make air the V-E-S, the Vesa of at, to fill of at, the north. And so it looks like uh, the menorah would be a constellation that was north of Cancer. And so best chances are this word menorah, you know, is just coming from a minor, a smaller. And I sure miss my overlay of Google Sky. I think the only reason they stopped doing that is because I was uncovering too much. It really made it easy. So this sign they'll call Mool. You know, they'll tell you it's the sign of On three times. You know, in the you know in the Egyptian, I tell you that three Ons is a Anu. You know, the Anu, the God of Heavens, Anu, the God of Heavens to place Anu, Anu a pin. I'm the, a new, a God of heavens to plant a new, you know, a cycle of, you know, and that's what the N is, is a, a cycle, the seed, the cycle, a new a place, a new a pen. So I'm having a great day out there, got good cloud coverage, it's cool, I really need to get out there and cut some grass. Alright, I'm going to cut this off here. Good day.